We are here from your mother's basement, and apparently the Yankees are the favorites to land Yamamoto? Let's get into it. Hey guys, I hope you are having a stupendous day today. If you love the Yankees but you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, especially if you kept up to the latest New York Yankees news or just for plain old New York Yankees discussion. So everything that's been going on with the Yankees, they're making me look like a Looney Tune. I haven't shaved my head in like 10 days. It's I'm, I'm going crazy. But apparently, according to Mr. Bobby Nightingale, the New York Yankees are still the favorites to land the Japanese superstar, Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Nightingale says this, the Dodgers, even if they acquire Tyler Glass now from the Tampa Bay Rays, are still in, all in, on Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Yet the Yankees still remain the favorites on Yamamoto. And then Andy Martino had something to say himself about Yamamoto and the New York Metropolitans. For a long time, there was a complete lack of buzz around Yamamoto and the Mets. It seemed like they didn't have much of a chance. Now at a crucial time, they're in it. But then some random Twitter account responds with this. Andy, I trust you. All I ask is to give us the favorite to sign him. Is it the Yankees like Bobby Nightingale says? Martino responds with, they're certainly in a strong position, but it's not over. So, judging by what Andy Martino was saying, the Mets are still in it, so... With that being something of of interest, the Yankees are going to have to outbid the Mets if if it's between those two teams. But then we heard the other day, or yesterday rather, the Dodgers are going all out for Yamamoto. They're going all out for him, and rightfully so. The the kid was a Dodger fan, so they have that playing in their favor. They brought Mookie Betts, Shohei Otani, newly acquired Shohei Otani, that record-breaking deal who deferred all that damn money so this Yamamoto signing is still friggin' possible for them. And then Freddie Freeman, one of the best hitters in the game. And we had House Time Brenner and Randy freaking Levine to meet with Yamamoto. But apparently Yoshi really enjoys, really enjoys the history and, and what it is to be a Yankee. So I guess there's that. But according to Mr. Bobby Nightingale, the New York Yankees are in fact the favorites when, in my opinion, it kind of doesn't look that way. But even what Andy Martino had to say, eh, the Yankees are still in a very strong position to acquire him. And then let's not forget what Jack Curry, what he said that the Yankees are still optimistic even after their meeting in acquiring Yoshinobu Yamamoto, I believe. Yoshi still has to meet with the Red Sox. I think the Blue Jays, I could be wrong. Then I want to say the Phillies or the Tigers. I've been seeing a mix, but I believe the Phillies or the Tigers he's going to meet with next. So he's just going to be as respectful as possible, meet with every team that's on his list. Seven seven to eight teams. Pretty wild for him. But 25 years old, very good over there in Japan. Of course, he's going to be courted by a lot of, of teams, and he's going to draw a lot of interest. So listen... You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments. I'm going to keep you guys up to date about Yoshinobu Yamamoto, if he's going to be a Yankee or not. We are here in your mother's basement, so do me a favor. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have channel memberships in the description if that interests you. I'm ridiculous. Thank you guys for watching. This is Joe and Until next time, signing out. And to all of our channel members here at The Shift, thank you guys. It means a lot.